Hey guys, Cause Ashley here. Today we'll be doing an overview on my unopened sets. Um, all the sets that I have that are unopened, kind of investment type things. Rare sets, new sets, older sets, I have all of it. And let's get into it. Hey guys, I just want to first let you guys know that with some of these sets, I'm never going to open them. Um, because there's no point really and it decreases the value that's why these are all in like boxes other than this one it's still i just keep the box but yeah so i mean most of these i'm not going to open ever because i don't want them unless i sell my collection which will help me sell a collection because there's new in box sets and a couple of these and uh, yeah i just for personal preference and i have want to make more space for them as well so like that's another thing so first off we're gonna go with this dvd which is in star wars it's actually um adventures of clutch power right there in the lego club dvd i got this in the mail <laughs> in 2011 crazy when they had lego magazines and stuff i just came in the mail there's i didn't get that any other way except for the mail so that's pretty cool when they had lego magazines with the max guy on it with the lego club and the Adventures of Clutch Powers, that's a good, that's a good little movie Lego made. I recommend you watch that. And then next up, we're going to go kind of smallest to big, work around this. So we got the, this is pretty self-explanatory, the Disney Mickey's Propeller Plane. Nothing special. I had, I got a second one as a gift, so that's why I also have that one. And the one's built, so that's cool. Then we got the system one. I don't even know what this set's called, but this is like an impulse buy item. Uh, it says nine bucks, but I don't think that was the original price. I bought this for way cheaper. It's just a cool 20 piece set. Nothing big. You got alternate builds with it. You got one, two, three, three builds with this. That's just pretty cool. Then next we have this Santa Claus's sleigh set. Sorry for the lighting, guys. I'm going to try my best to keep it out of there if I can. There we go. Okay. Santa Claus's sleigh. Pretty cool set. Um, It costs $40. And it got up to $50. So I'm going to keep that for a couple years. Hopefully I can get something out of this. They still have it in state stores, I think. And then here's another box. <laughs> I'm sorry for the boxes. Then we got the Hunted Mansion. This one's a cool one as well. They're about to make a movie about this, but again, this one is in stores like the Santa Claus one, and it's not exclusive to anything. But I think if the movie comes out and then the set goes off shelves, it will be worth a good amount of money. So I had to wait on that one too. And then next, we're going to get into um, gift with purchases. So this one, we got the Easter one. Which isn't that hard to acquire, I think. I don't know how much this goes for on eBay, but I might sell it there or hold on to it. Then sell on eBay. It comes with 318 pieces, which I think is a lot, but you will see bigger piece count uh, gift of purchase sets in a bit here. Then I don't even know what to do. I'll go with these ones. So these are the online gift of purchases. We got the Dragon, uh, the Dragon Ride. I don't really know what to call this one. Uh, I call it like the dragon ride machine thing. I don't even know. But that's for the Black Falcon. There's a Black Falcon shield with a kid. And the Lego dragon. Very cool. Then we have one for pirates. The pirate ship ride. This one's pretty cool. Same uh, same uh, little deal here. Just different themes. They're both rides for kids. But like, it's cool. Same idea. Then next we got this one, the pirate ship playground. This one's pretty cool. I think, yeah, it comes with two little mini figs. 168 pieces, it's a good use of parts. You get a chest, you get two figs, you get the little pirate ship, the squid, octopus, what you wanna call that, and uh, the tree. Not bad for what you get for 168 pieces and two mini figs. That's pretty cool. Then next, with inside the box, is we got the Force and the Hideout. This one's pretty cool as well. 258 pieces. That one's already built down there. That's why I had to take it out. But this one's pretty cool. Original box. Everything. I really like the retro look of that. And then next, we have the Pirates of the Caribbean Captain's Cabin. 
that's pretty cool um yeah this one this one's nice it goes with my pirates collection which is up there <laughs> some in the some is stored away under my bed right here if you can uh see that it's under there but yeah that's pretty cool plus the pirates are displayed up there but i have the whole pirate pirates of the caribbean collection other than the silent mary which i'm trying to get off ebay right now for a good price which is kind of hard to do at this moment because it's either like really expensive in box or it's like cheap without the box but it doesn't come with May figures if you get what i mean so that's pretty it's good but bad but yeah this one comes with 95 pieces which is not a lot but for what you get it's a lot so like <clears throat> you get three sh i think two ships in the bottle which is supposed to be like the black pearl you get three minifigs gunner zombie quartermaster zombie quartermaster zombie and jack sparrow you got the map right there and you got the ball the globe you got a little nice thing little nice thingy for the um ships in the bottle but yeah that's pretty cool and it's still it was 12 bucks back then which isn't bad at all and uh, it's just really cool so yeah i'm gonna go with this bag right here this uh this bag i don't know why that sucks man. but first off we have a disney 100 minute figure and that would be um this one is Fantasia Mickey, I because we felt it and we know it's in there, which is pretty cool. Next up, we got some poly bags. That's like so parts, don't need that. We got some poly bags. We got the play extra poly bag. We got gift or purchase stuff. The extra that was six bucks. I don't know why I got that. Um, this is a VIP fun and play set right there. This is pretty cool. We have another one, I think. Yeah, this one's the New Year's one. The Lunar New Year's one, and this one's just the Fun and Funky set. We have one more, I think. Yeah. One more right here with the, um, another Easter one, the Easter Bunny. You can see that. I have a hard time. But that's the Easter Bunny right there. We got a bag, and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and we also have the, um, other than these poly bags, we also have these cup holders and whatnot. So we have, like, they have double-sided faces, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll flip them all over. These are all coasters for drinks. We also have this little VIP blue fig, which is free to me. But yeah, they have separate faces, as you can see that, which is pretty cool. And they're just coasters for your drink. Nothing special. But they came in a little package, which is cool. And then next up, we have the Brickheads. Um, Brickheads 100 series. Um, Celebration. Yeah, sorry, I can't read. I'm in a little brain loop. But yeah, Oswald, yeah, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Mickey, Snow White, and Tinkerbell. As brick as I feel like as we go on in a couple of years, this might be worth something. I feel like after the Disney 100, I feel like in like two years after the 100th anniversary is done, everything might go up in price. So that would be nice. But this is definitely a cool one. I bought this and I don't collect brickhead, so I didn't open it. So this one I might sell in the future, probably. But yeah, now we're on to the bigger sets. So as you can see, there's Speed Racer, which I'll go over last, which is really unknown by a lot of people actually but yeah, i'm gonna go with the spongebob stuff first so we got uh the emergen the emergency room pretty cool set i had the whole spongebob collection you can watch that in another video it was my first video I ever made but yeah but i have this this is new in box and it's some of the edition which practically meant it was only sold in toys r us i think that's what it meant because they only sold they sold this in like general stores but if it's a limited edition it was sold in twice or us and the most some lego sets older ones have that and that's pretty cool to know that but this one's a little more money than the usual one that you can get off ebay and this is no box not really any damage i mean there's a bit of cracking right there but nothing major it looks perfect um here's the back 
I love these sets when they have the cartoon, little cartoon bit. That was cool. And it's not like that big of a set, but it has like all the detailed pictures of the different things. Oh, I love that. And that even has like captions and just stuff like that. And I like how you see the hospital parking stall is like tipped over a bit. And that might piss some people off, but I think that's funny. Just because. Yeah, it's the parking sign, but Patrick's driving it, and it only has 236 pieces, but look how big this box is. There's my hand, but look how big that box is compared to one that has freaking 680 pieces nowadays. That's crazy. I, I really like the box sizes back then. I mean, look at that. That's just crazy. And yeah, this is a smaller build, whatever. It has smaller pieces, but like... Even even the Santa one right here is does more pieces. It's not as big as a build. I mean, yeah, it's not. It's probably because of base plate, but still, I love the size of these boxes. They were just amazing. Next up, we got Mrs. Puff's Boating School, three hundred ninety-five pieces. Not much more. Only like a hundred, a hundred something more pieces. But the boxes pretty big the set's big it's spread out it's not like a big set it's just a wide spread out set which is cool and i like this one this one's not limited edition because they didn't do that with this set but you did have the pull back car boat mobile you had a little obstacle course you could pull it back and then it would race through that because it had the guiding tubes and the braking wall you got the anchor just cool and in the midst of the puff boating school looks so accurate I mean, truly, it's like one-sided, so it has a good side, and you can, I don't even know what it shows, yeah, it shows the inside, it shows the inside right there, and then this is all, this is halfway, but in my opinion, this is a really good, this was a really accurate set to the Mrs. Puss Boys, so it even has a little sign up there, I just thought it was perfect, I mean, I think it's perfect, other than I wish this was fully 360. I wish this was like fully done, those two, and everything else would be good. But nowadays, I feel like they would do this fully if they really wanted to. But I feel like everything is perfect, but I get the year and what they're trying to go for with the SpongeBob stuff. Like, nothing I had like was like fully enclosed. Like, and any of the sets, unless it was like a vehicle or like a ship or a boatmobile, anything like that was enclosed. Nothing like Buildings were enclosed. As you can see, that was one side of the building. This is one side building. Most of the latest ones are both one side of the buildings. But this one's cool. And uh, yeah, I actually like it. It's accurate. This It has really good playability in this set. And it's just really cool. Next up, Speed Racer. I don't even know where to start with these. Um, I got these because uh, I like Speed Racer. Simple as that. I saw the movie when it came out. And it was crazy. I just loved it ever since. And it's hard to get Speed Racer stuff because it's just, you don't come across it that often. I used to be in the model cars. I, I never got one, the Speed Racer one, because it was too expensive. But I ended up getting these because it's two of my favorite things, or one of my favorite things, and one of the things I like a lot. Lego and Speed Racer. <laughs> and they only had four sets, so I had the whole collection, which is cool. But yeah, so let's go over these. Um. Cruncher Block vs. Racer X. This one's cool. Definitely a bigger set. I hated how it doesn't tell you the piece. Oh, it does a piece of mine. It's because some of them don't tell you piece count. It's down here. My bad. Totally forgot about that. But again, 368 pieces. And I just want to compare this real quick. 395 pieces. The box is literally the same thickness, I want to say. Same length. But I just loved old Lego, man. They just, they kind of overdid things, but it was a good way. It wasn't a good way. So, yeah. So, you got the missile launching action, which is, this is so weird. It shows, like, the covers down, but the missile is coming out. And I'll show you what that does in a sec here. Um, This set was not good. I'm going to be honest. And I'll, and as you can see, this looks like it should be covered, but it's not. And I promise you it's not gonna get any better the only decent thing is the cab 
but the best thing is the racer x's car you get this in another set which i'll show you in a bit here but yeah this was just a cool one i think the truck's pretty big like this is like a good size like uh uh what's it called speed champions car it's uh eight studs wide i'm pretty sure yeah, it's just why it's like a speed champions car. It's just like a speed racer, which is pretty cool. And back in the day, on sale for twenty seven dollars. You do not want to know what I paid for. It, it wasn't bad, but it was it wasn't bad. It was a good price, I guess. But yeah, as you can see here now, it showed the missile coming out with this down. But as you can see, this comes up, then the missile comes out, and that's cool. I thought the minifigures in these were actually pretty nice, not gonna lie. With the hair pieces, um, it was interesting. They didn't have hair pieces, really, except for a couple. But I kind of like how these are. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a hair piece or what? I don't know, but that's kind of cool to me. But yeah, again, here's that. It's not, it's not covered or anything. Yellow turret, the swivel turret. I don't know how that works. Here's the feature of you pushing down, opening the cap, pushing down, and that comes out. Racer X's car, and uh, yeah. I don't know how this works. Did you, it says you can fit a minifig in there, but I don't, it hasn't shown minifig in any of these. And it shows them out here, so I'm kind of confused by that, but it's whatever. Um, but it's still pretty cool. I'm gonna go with these two last. But next thing we have is another Razor X set. It's the same exact car, 237 pieces. This one's pretty cool. It's Tajo. Uh, excuse me if I say that wrong. It's I think it's Tajo and Razor X, yeah. I like Tajo's car. It's a red, red and black car. You've seen the movie, you would know. And, oh, another thing is, I like the settings. If you've seen the movie, they go in, like, an ice glacier uh, cave mountain type thing. And then on this one, they're on, like, a green field track. And this one was actually took place at night. If you just look up those few Asia scenes and you'll know, like, what which one's which. And they happen, like, the background is accurate. So that's another thing I like about this. So, yeah, we got Tajo and Racer X. Racer X, literally the same car as this one. Nothing changed. Same building instructions, everything. Um, But, yeah, this one's sealed. None of them have damage, so I'm really happy about. But, I mean, as you can see, the cars are pretty cool. Pretty basic, but they have their own spin, which I like. I like this bit, too, from the manga, I think, or the comics. It's just Speed Racer because the car looks different than all the rest I've ever seen. But yeah, that's that one. They're coming up to the last draw. This one, okay. This one is pretty special. Because I bought this off eBay uh, three months ago. Three, three, two months ago. Well, maybe four. But I mean, I really haven't seen this anywhere. I paid... I don't want to. I paid like what two fifty, I think, for this. But I look at the, you can look this up online. I don't know if anything will pop up because I haven't looked in a while. But I was looking. I'll look for like since I bought this three months. It was three months ago. I looked every and once a week for two months up until now. So I haven't looked in the last month, but nothing pops up about this set. I mean, you can, yeah, it pops up information, but I haven't seen any sales on this. So this might be a grail in box, because I have not seen anything about this. But this is the only, like, I've seen ones without box and what they go for, but with, like, brand new in box, I've never seen any of these other than this one. That's why I bought it, because I knew I could get the whole collection off of eBay. I actually, I got, what one did I get? I got this big one off stock X to go around a bit, which is a great deal. Um, but yeah, so this one is Speed Racer versus Snake Oiler. Again, the background's accurate from the scene this was in. And so I think Speed Racer's car has done really well. Like, really well. And Snake Oiler's car has done a bit wacky. But I mean, if you've seen, again, if you've seen the movie, you, know, you will know about that. 
But I feel like Speed Racer's car is really accurate. And I see mocks of it. And they're, some are really better than others. But this, this is the base. And I feel like from the set, they got it really accurately from the time period. From the time the set was made, when the movie came out, I feel like they got that really accurate. But yeah, I feel like this is a really rare set. I really haven't seen anywhere else to purchase. And I looked everywhere. Like literally everywhere. But that's like my favorite set in all the investments. Um last but not least, the five hundred and ninety five piece set. Which isn't like it's like the um this is plus bowling school. It's not pullback cars, but it's like big. It's a big spread out set, so they make the box bigger, which is kind of funny. Because, like, this like this bucket is huge, as you can fit all these sets in there. But then this just takes up most of the bucket. <laughs> it's just a huge-ass box. Um, but, yeah, so this is cool. Got a lot of detail. You got a lot of minifigs. Let's see, you have, I think, seven? Plus the chimpanzee or the monkey? I would count that as a figs. You got eight figs. Three cars, then the, let's see, I guess the Mach 6, that was the Mach 5, this is the Mach 6, very cool. And it's just cool, you got a lot of stickers in this though, like, the cars are all has stickers, 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 everything you see practically is a sticker, which is a lot for one set, but yeah, it's well worth it if you put this together. It's just, I love the detail on this too. And again, the scenery is right. The spinny track, the crazy track. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is just so cool. And it's just awesome. And I mean, flip this around. I love the back of this. Again, with the comic strip, very cool. The big Lego logo. I mean, it even has this, the racer mortars thing. They didn't have to add that, but that's a cool addition because that's like it's like a family-owned business. That's kind of the plot of the movie. And then you got these, which I think that's a sticker, and that's a sticker as well. I'm pretty sure. But it's just cool. <laughs> you got like a little pit stop area, the monkey chim chim, and uh, yeah, it's just cool. I really like. I love Speed Racer, and I'm so glad they go to these these, and I could get the whole thing. And yes, there's only four sets in total of Speed Racer, which is pretty crazy. But, um, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, I don't know of anyone else who has these four sets in new unbox. People probably do, and I just don't know, because there's plenty of people who collect Lego, and they don't share everything, but... For me, these four sets are just awesome. They're some of the coolest stuff in my collection, other than this stuff. That, like, I don't know. I just I have things from all ages, from all years. And I was born in 2004, so I'm 18. But, I mean, some of the stuff came out before I was even born, which is so cool to think about. And I have it. And some sets I wanted, like the Glove World set right there. When I was younger, I never got it, and now I have it. It's just, it's just cool. But I mean, yeah, this set, these sets are really cool. This series, uh, this line, this theme was really cool. And it's really not known about, which is kind of crazy to me. But I kind of get it, because you have to kind of be in Speed Racer to know Speed Racer. And some people just don't know Speed Racer. They will never get into it. Or they just didn't know this was a set. Like, some people don't know Spongebob was a line. And it's kind of crazy. But, you know, some people don't know everything. And some people don't look into things. But they might just not know things. But it's fine. But, yeah. This was my uh, set. My investment set collection. My unbox. My unopened box set collection. And here these are all. I have to clean that up. From the back in here. But, yeah. So, that's. The whole investment thing i did a video on the pirate sets if you want to go check that out next thing i'll do is all my spider-man stuff which i have a lot trust me i have daily beagle i'm gonna go all over my i'm gonna go over all my minifigs i have some cool ones just a sneak peek i have some knockoffs i have customs i have real figs have them all um it's just cool 
we're gonna go over that next in the next video and yeah so that is my lego investment collection right there and yeah cause actual signing out